Uh, here it is Saturday morning uh, in the town of Oshawa, approximately uh, 8.08 in the morning, Wilson Road, Highway 2. Uh, it's approximately uh, 20 days after uh, I witnessed the kicking of a homeless person by Durham Regional Police. I don't really want to uh, color it by saying it was a kick, uh, could have been a nudge. Um, I just know that in general the, the, uh, the foot and the leg are uh, considered to be a, a dangerous weapon and that uh, as a human being I think being kicked <laughs> is inappropriate and even nudged with your foot. I mean it could be done in a loving manner but uh, I'm pretty sure that the policeman and the homeless person person sleeping in the middle of the street weren't uh, companions or friends, so let's rule that one out. I'm just more concerned about that uh, the behavior gets corrected and that the police can have the proper training, and I'm really concerned about the alcoholic or the drug addict that was in the street. I mean, he got roasted and uh, wasn't made sure he was safe. I mean, obviously he wasn't safe when he was sleeping in the middle of the street. But anyways, uh, on or about uh, the morning of uh, January 20th, uh, I was traveling northbound on Simcoe Street. I was approaching uh, Simcoe and Highway 2, which is Simcoe and King Street. And on the northwest, northeast corner, there's a closed bank. And in, in the stoop of the door around the one corner was a person person uh, passed out sleeping. It seemed to me that they had a blanket because you couldn't see their head or where their head was. And uh, I watched an officer talk to him, bend down and talk to him. And then when the officer got up uh, and the person didn't move, the officer gave him a couple kicks. And I was uh, so, so shocked. Uh, I, I go like, why am I seeing this? And then I witnessed it. I mean, I witnessed it happen, and I, then I questioned myself as to whether it was a kick or a nudge, or whether it was appropriate or not appropriate. And uh, so I, I proceeded north. Uh, at the armories, I turned right, and I banged another right the next street down, and I looped back around to Athol Street, made the right and come back up Simcoe Street, and uh, got stopped at the lights. I was able to get my phone out. And I was able to make a very, very short video of the two officers as they left the scene. And um, uh, was I find it interesting today that I'm able to make this statement because it is 20 days after the fact. And apparently when you've had trauma happen, it takes 21 days for you to come out. So I'm feeling pretty healthy that uh, I'm talking about this. My real... I don't really want to be a pain in the ass of the police. I think they do a great job 99% of the time. I just think that um, I don't feel good about myself when I see somebody kicking somebody because uh, the way you treat them is the way you would treat me and the way we treat each other is the way we all feel about ourselves. And uh, uh, Life will kick you around without each other doing it. And, uh, you know, I, I don't think... I don't... I guess you could feel good about yourself having kicked someone, but I can't. <laughs> I can't raise my self-esteem by uh, kicking someone. I can't raise my self-esteem by feeling good about myself, allowing someone else to kick someone. So I'm caught in the dilemma of being me, and uh, I really don't want any problems with the police. I think they're a scary, scary uh, group of people because... Um, here I am. I mean, is this real or not? I mean, are my fears warranted or not? Have have I have I suffered the consequences of uh, police persecution in the past or not? You know, my uh, my record is my testimony, and uh, I certainly uh, don't want their attention, don't need their attention, but I've witnessed something, and uh, I don't know what to do with it. I've investigated what to do with it a couple times, and uh, Canada is supposed to be the one of the safest and easiest places to find justice. And uh, I don't want to argue with men with guns. Uh, 
I've been given advice in the past, and I think that's pretty good advice. Uh, my encounters in the past is they have um, made up infractions to uh, show me who's boss, and I'm convinced they are. So, <sighs> yeah, that's my testimony. That's my statement. Uh, give this te testimony being a free person in a free society uh, expecting not to be persecuted for uh, speaking what I saw hope not I enjoy the last part of my life